What's up guys, it's Coach Patrick uh, here again with you guys for another workout. Today what we're going to work on is some fingertip dribbling, getting the ball down low, kind of getting a good workout for our forearms and our wrists, make sure we have real good ball control. We're going to start with two balls with this. All right, and just a quick review, remember we dribble with our fingertips, everything we're doing right now, fingertips only, our palms don't touch. If you need to go slower, just dribble higher. We're going to start low, but if it's too hard for you, just dribble a little bit higher. The higher you dribble with this, a little bit easier it gets. So we're going to start off nice wide base right here. Both hands are on the balls right here. You're going to do same time fingertips low. We're going to go for 30 seconds. It's going to look like this right here. So my eyes are up, controlled, want the ball in the same place. If you have to look, go ahead and look. But right now I'm down here nice, quick and low for a good 30 seconds. Your forearms are going to start to burn. You want your back up, chest up, eyes up, butt down, feet wide, knees bent, balls in the same place. Okay? Once we get that done, we're going to go right into higher. We're going to pound it right up to here. Okay? So I'm going to push straight down here, dribbling hard. Okay? Still no palms on the ball, pushing straight down. My eyes stay up. I'm controlled. Same spots. Once we get our 30 seconds there, we're done with that. That should get our blood flowing real quick and easy. Now, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna change the heights. You're gonna have one low, one high, and you're gonna switch back and forth. I like to kind of just count in your head every 10 seconds and switch so it doesn't get monotonous. You don't wanna be stuck like this forever. So it's gonna be one low, one high. And then once you get it, change the rhythm. The more you change the rhythm, the more you're gonna disrupt yourself. Your body's a creature of habit. Once you get yourself set, you want to mess with it. That way it just works on your handles and being able to adapt to what's going on. Once you get three or four done on each side, we're going to stop with that and move on to the next part. Good, okay? Now we're going to start to go side to side. When we go side to side, we want to make sure the ball's going back and forth. Our hands are moving the same distance. So what that means is like windshield wipers, side to side just like this with our right hand side to side with our left hand. What we want to have is make sure both balls go the same distance. So we have both balls going the same distance. I don't want to see one where one's moving this much and one's here. We want the balls to go the same. Just like this. Okay, control. Eyes up. Balls bouncing at the same time. Trying to have one sound. Arms working in unison. Once we have that going, go lower. Now your wrist won't turn over as much. Your hands are going to be more directly on top of the ball, but it's still fingertips. Once we have that, go back to high. Uh-oh. And then back to low. Good. Then we're going to do the opposite. So they're going the same direction. Now they can go into each other and then out together. So out at the same time, in at the same time. When we do this one, make sure the balls don't touch and go flying but it's the same distance. Dribble hard, eyes up. We stay low, we're down here low. We stay high, we're back to high. We stay low, back to low. Remember, mix this up on your own. You want a good 20 or 30 seconds right here. Mess up, that's fine, keep going. And then back to low. And that's our side to sides. Last one for this where we start moving and getting into some other stuff. You're gonna go front to back, okay? I'll turn sideways so you can see again, we want it to be the same distance. Feet a little bit closer together. You want the ball to bounce right next to your shoe. Don't want it bouncing out here. Don't want it bouncing out there. We want it down here. So we're gonna go like we're skiing, down a slalom, push, pull, control, same time. We stay low. We go low. We say high. We go back to high. And again, a good three or four switches for 30 seconds. Once you have that done, move on to the next part, which is gonna be opposite of this. So we're getting our hands to work together and our hands to work against each other. When we're doing this, make sure your palm's going from facing backwards to facing forwards. You'll hear it called push and pull. So I'm pulling and I'm pushing. Pull, push, pull, push. See the other way? Now you can go opposite. So I'm starting right here. One's in front, one's in the back. And all I'm doing is just switching. Push, pull, 
push, pull, push, pull. We say low, we go back to low. We go high, we go back to high. And that's it for the stationary stuff. But again, it's just a good way to get our hands getting used to switching directions, moving directions with the ball. Now we want to start doing is moving. What you want to do for this part is just find three or four items, small little items. Right now I've got some balls here. It could be toys, it could be pillows, it could be cones if you have them, just something. Duct tape containers, whatever it is that you can find. What you want to do is make them in a nice little line like this, put a little bit of space there. And again, the bigger you are, the harder it will be with smaller spaces. If you're a small guy or a small girl, make it tiny for you guys so you challenge yourself. Because again, right now, all we're doing is trying to get better. And we get better by making mistakes. If it's too easy, go faster, make it tighter. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna just slalom all the way through, just zigzag through. But I want your eyes up, but I want your movements direct. And what I mean by that is, you're in complete control of the ball. When we do this with kids, sometimes we'll see people dribbling and they get through it, but the ball's kind of out of control out here and they're chasing it. We want to see absolute control, okay? So when your coaches you get to high school or whatever level you're at, they're going to see you have absolute control of the ball where it's going. It's not dribbling you, you're dribbling it. So you can start down low, feet together right here. And you're going to zigzag direct. All we're doing, don't let them touch, stay down low. Come back around, in here tight. And we're gonna do that three or four times, okay? And when we're doing that, if you'll notice, ball's right in front of me, my eyes are up. Even though my head's down, my eyes are still up, okay? I'm down here low. It's harder to keep your head here because then you're gonna bring the ball right now. We want down here. Again, if it's too easy or too hard, dribble higher. This is easier. This is harder, okay? Once we've done that a couple of times, you're gonna reverse it. You can do the same thing backwards. When we go backwards, we wanna make sure we don't kick the ball with our toes. So again, you're gonna start on the side. Fingertips are here, controlled, zigzag through. If you notice, both balls go at the same time, okay? Right here. Now once we get done, we finish there. You're gonna do that one three or four times, okay? Once we get past that, the next part we're going to do is we're going to start changing hands with this. When we do this one, we're going to do it with one ball to start. All right, and the, so it's going to look like this. We're here, down low, it's going to be crossovers. Okay, I'm going to show you two different versions of this. One for the beginners and one for the more advanced guys. And again, it's about total body control. We want to make sure we have control over where we're going and where we want to be. No matter how good you are, when you make a move, you should be able to end where you want to end on that move. So for example, if I make a crossover and I want to end right next to that white, white ball right there, I should be able to cross over and end right here. I might be able to want to get from here to that white ball. I make that crossover, boom, I should end right here. So I have control over where I'm exiting my move. That's what we mean by total control, okay? So the first one, again, for the beginner guys, very simple. You're gonna be low, is gonna be two dribbles, quick hard crossover and explode to that next cone or the next ball. So I'm right here, so I get to here. One, two, crossover, explode right to here. One, two, crossover, explode right to here. One, two, crossover and explode right to here. So start, stop, start, stop. So I'm here, one, two, quick. One, two, quick. One, two, quick. Now every time I do this, it's ball first, then body. So look, here, Ball, boom, body. One, two, ball, body, okay? Now, once we have that done, you'll notice I'm stepping with my inside foot. So I'm here, boom, like this, okay? You can also switch it up and go with your outside foot because sometimes you're gonna go with that foot as well. So one, two, cross step here. One, two, cross step here. One, two, cross step here, okay? So what you're gonna do is three or four times each one, all right? For the more advanced guys, instead of taking two dribbles here, it's gonna be two crossovers. Okay, so stand still crossovers. Now, you wanna start with the outside hand, so that way your third crossover is going across to the middle. And you'll get what I mean when you start trying to do it. I start here and go one, two. I can't crossover and go that way. The ball's in my left hand. 
okay? So I'm right here, it's gonna be one, two, three, here. One, two, three, here. One, two, three, here. And if you notice, I did the cross step. Coming back, I can switch it up and go with my inside foot. One, two, three, here. One, two, three, here. One, two, three, here, okay? Now, which one can you go further with? If you cross step, you can go further because your pivot foot's on the inside. So it's easy. I can step further with my right foot going that way because my left foot is closer on this side. If I'm on my right foot here and I step with my left foot, I can only get this far, okay? It's just because I'm moving this part of my body or moving this part of my body. So we wanna make sure we work on those things. And if again, it's too easy for you, you can start transitioning this into between the legs where it can be cross, cross, between get to here, cross, cross, between, or even behind the back where we're right here. Cross, cross, behind, cross, cross, behind, okay? And we just wanna make sure we're tight and controlled. So that concludes today's video. I wanna make sure that you guys just get a, a good workout in every time. And again, push yourself, make mistakes, get better, and as always, stay safe.